Hey everyone, Dave Gwynden here with a major update with version 1.0, 1.2. So what I'm gonna do in this quick little video is basically talk about all of the updates that I did in this new version. Now when you get the latest version, all you have to do, if you already own a copy of 2 and you're watching this video, when you first start the software, it always checks for a new version. So if you see a little window like this, all you have to do is just click download and follow the instructions and it will download and automatically open and install the new update. So if you already own Tube Atlas, no worries, just start it right now. If it's running on your computer, first stop it and if it's starting, go ahead and do that and then you'll see this update window. Um, of course, you'll see, you know, 1012 here, not 11. I'm just wanted to show you what it looks like to see the new version available and then all the update information is actually in this little window down here. Now, for some reason, that doesn't actually come up, which it may for some odd reason. You can always go to the help and you can go right here and click download and version info. If you click that, it will always take you to the download page. A different one on my server, which gives you the update information. You can always download the latest version here. And there's lots of really cool stuff. So I'll just kind of go through it real quickly here and then kind of show you in the software because some things have changed and I've added a lot of really good stuff that really helps you with um, SEO with your video descriptions and kind of analyzing those sorts of things. Let's take a look. So I did fi fix a couple issues um, with people that um, live in the G GDPR countries like Europe and stuff like that, uh, UK, that are having troubles with the trends tool and the trend trending videos button. So I kind of got that figured out and fixed it up. That only applies if you live in those countries, but just moving on here. I've also changed the column keywords in the video channel or sorry video sorry the channels tool got a little tongue tied there if you look over here it used to say keywords it i changed it to channel tags because it's technically channel tags and not keywords so some people were asking for a tag where are the tags the channel tags that's what that is and i added the tag count column but i'm gonna get to that in a second um i changed the email column to email in description so it's more specific the software is actually trying to find emails that reside inside of the description for both the videos and channel tools so before i just had email there where some uh, users were thinking like that email was to do with something else like maybe in their youtube account or something but no it isn't that email is being extracted if it's found within the description of the video or the description of the channel i also added the tags count um, because in the channel tags, it's nice to see how many there are instead of manually kind of counting the tags in there. And I did that as well in the videos tool. So just over here, I put tags count. And then I added a few other things here. We can re-extract data. I'll get to that in a second. It makes more sense. And I come down here and I added 10 brand new columns to both the videos and channel tools. Now, technically there's only nine new columns in the videos, but 10 new columns in the channel. So let's, let's talk about what these are, and it's pretty exciting. Let's just take over to the videos channel here. So um, we have the characters in title. That's the one I added over into the channels tool. That wasn't there before, so just to make, uh, make it sort of similar to the videos tool. But let's get to these new columns. So let's just do a quick search here. Let's just turn this off. And I just pause there for a second and got 186 results. So let's take a look here. So we've got the uh, description. And then in here, I've added the characters in description. So if you wanna know how many characters were in there. And then we got the word count. And we also have the number of links found in the description. So that was something that was requested. Also the amount of hashtags found inside the description. And if they're found, what are they? So they're put over here. So you can just sort here and you can see all the hashtags excuse me, the hashtags that were included inside of the description. Then like before, we also have the email in description. Now I added the phone number in description. Now please note that it's not, this one is not perfect because after doing some research, it's actually very difficult to, to find phone numbers in content because it just changes all over the world. So I created my own sophisticated little algorithm that seems to work pretty good, but make sure you do double check with the description to make sure it actually is a phone number. So I'm going to be, you know, if you're using these phone numbers for contacting um, leads or something like that, then it's going to make sure that they're actually legit by going and check out the description. And you can do that really quickly by just right clicking and go videos. And you can look at the video details window view. So you click that and it'll show up in here and you can see 
like the um, if it has any hashtags like that one doesn't have any hashtags so if you look at one that does like this one for example and you can see them down here I guess we were talking about the phone number not the hashtags <laughs> so you can see the phone number here and you can see this one's whatsapp right so it's good to take a quick look but it gives you an idea whether or not there's some sort of phone number found now the next thing I did was I integrated a readability score this kind of gives you an idea of how easily that someone could read the description and it's really important for SEO and so I put a readability score here so the um, the smaller the number the harder it is to read and the bigger the number the easier it is to read and then I put a grade level description over here telling you what kind of like um, basically school grade level based on the United States um, grade system this is kind of gives you an idea of what grade level that can kind of understand the description when they're reading it and I'll show you where I got this information from but you want to be sort of focusing around grade 7 from all the research I've seen so let's take a look where I got this from I'm actually using the uh, flesh Kincaid reading ease formula as you see here this has been done since I think the 19 80s or something or no maybe 18 <laughs> long long time ago anyways and then I use this little scale here to determine now there's a whole bunch of other different systems kind of involved here but that seems to be the most popular one I mean I had an idea of maybe taking all of these and just taking the average of everything but I figured it's just better just to stick with one so I don't know I'm open up to suggestions if someone else is more knowledgeable about this type of thing but from what I've researched a bit this one seems to be um, pretty well used so you can see here it's like it's widely used in US government so anyways I figured that'd be a really good integration into the system so you can actually see the readability of the description and then lastly here I already mentioned I added the tag count so now you can see the number of tags that are showing up for this particular video and if you go over to the channel tools the channel tool if I just click in here and do a quick search again you'll see it'll also extract all of that data in here as well so we can just move it over coming over here you see the characters description count hashtags all that kind of stuff inside of for the channel tools this is the channel description so it's different than a video description phone uh, emails phone numbers things like that that's all in it I also put the tag count here as well and also I, as I suggested earlier that I changed this from keywords to channel tags now let me show you another thing I've done here so let's say you're in the channels tool and let's just Clear that out and you want to load an older file that you saved from before so let me see here it's an older one mm, no try that again oops so you can see down here sorry bear with me here <laughs> I loaded the wrong one that's just load that in there so if you have a, a previously saved file and you load it in here and all these new columns are showing up you're gonna see this it's gonna see not extracted in all these new columns so if you have an old file then you want this data again so I added a feature where you can right-click and you can go to and you go to channel tool and you see here re extract selected rows so to select a row you double click any row and it will select it the check boxes or if you just want to extract all of them just right click channels tool extract all and it'll go through and extract them all again so you got to wait until it's fully completed before you hit stop if you hit stop it actually won't do them all so you got to wait till it's completely done here and you'll get all the data for that the same thing goes with the videos tool so if you open up an old file here you can see here all the data is not there again so again you can right click videos tools it's under this one and under here you'll see re-extract or re-extract all and you can go ahead and, and do like that and get the data again I'll stop that 
So the next thing I want to show you is in the video to text. So if we take a video here and we can move it over to the convert selected video to text. Let's see if this one will convert. All right, we can see down here I added the readability score and also the grade level down here. And so one thing you can do here, it's a good idea to auto punctuate because it can change the, uh, the reading because you know this is not in sentences very very well. Like you want to kind of clean up a bit and it will change the readability. As you can see here, it got a lot better. So this is very easy to read once it's been punctuated. So I added that in there. Another thing I did is in the videos, if you click on the little thing here to bring up the details or you can right click, it's like details. I also added it in here. So you can have the readability score and the grade level down here. And I also added the words, characters, links, and hashtags. Some of that stuff was here before, but um, I added more in there. If you do come in here and you uh, use the replace, so if you replace, I don't know, let's just say the something else, just to show example, it, it can, it will update the readability score. So it does the replacements. So I added that in here as well. And one thing that was kind of annoying is if you have this window kind of underneath and you go to click it, it'll kind of hide underneath the window in the earlier version. This version, if you click, it will bring it to the front so you can see it even if it's sort of under, if it gets hidden underneath. So that's one extra thing I added. All right, that's it for this video. I just really wanted to show you the new awesome updates and more specifically the brand new columns of data that now come down and really help you focus your, um, basically see which, um, SEO kind of related elements are really making video successful. You know, then you can start to see um, views and likes and counts and stuff like that. Now you can start to see, you can see like this one got so many views and it has a grade seven um, level of reading for that description, which is really good. Now you can see the phone numbers, emails, hashtags. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, you can now grab these hashtags by right clicking, copy, and you can copy hashtags or selected hashtag. So selected is the rows that are selected with the checkbox in the first column, or you can just copy all of them. So if I just click that, come down here and control V, you can see it copied all of the hashtags that I found in that entire column. And it just copies them one per row. So you see here, this one had several um, tags, they had four of them, but when you copy it, it'll just put them on their own lines there like that. So and this also applies to the channels tool. So if you right click, go to copy, I added the hashtags there as well. So that is another feature I added. Well, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next update. Cheers.